Hello, welcome to the Okami Walkthrough by Corrosive X01. And Rocketfish. Alright, welcome back to part two. Now, I uh, forgot to introduce our little bouncing friend, which is bouncing on top of our head. His name is Isun. He is a wood sprite, I believe that's what they're called. And uh, he's going to accompany you on his journey, as he's about to say. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Come I just... I had to uh, add that. He came from a place in um, uh, a later place in the game called Kamui, in a forest, a cursed forest. Um, but that's where he came from. Uh, what character did he jump out of? Sakuya's breasts. Yeah, his ki her kimono. So he's a bit of a pervert. Right, right here, he pretty much just said, I'm going to accompany you, and uh, I don't change my mind. Or something like that, and that's a cheesy line, and he says that at the end of the game. It's, oh, cheesy, cheesy, it's really cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> Does he know you're a god? I think he's figured that out, yeah, right now, or around there. And that thing Sakia was talking about, uh, that was a plant that's pretty much protecting all the villagers that are in the nearby village. Um, protecting them from Orochi's power. So, that's just a little tidbit that we accidentally didn't point out when we skipped the opening cutscene. Yeah, there's me cutting down a tree. And this is a battle. The first battle that you encounter. And, of course, <laughs> look at that. You just stand up straight in the normal position. Oh, I'm just fighting. Okay. And then back into battle positions. As we open a can. <laughs> How are the fighting mechanics in the game? How do they work? Like swinging the Wii remote? Is that what you're talking about? How do they communicate with what you do? Not very well, as I said in the first video. It's like, it's mainly with the mirror, I find. Because when you're fighting with the mirror, it just, it, it stops, you know, fighting and you'll just be walking right in front of your enemy, just doing nothing. And that's going to happen to me, unfortunately, uh, in the future in the walkthrough. I'm gonna be. It'll look like I'm just standing there, but I'm really, I'm really just swinging the Wii remote all over the place. So, uh, just petty me on at those points. Not too responsive, eh? Yeah, it's it's really not all that great. But you know, again, my the greatest game I've ever played. So, yeah. oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice shot there. It's like cut open the time space continuum. Yeah. <clears throat> And also, there might there might be some points. We're not going to do it right now, but there may be some points where me and uh, Rocketfish will just stop uh, talking and we'll turn up the volume just so you can listen to the music. Because I mean, that might not appeal to everybody. You know, they probably want to hear you know us screaming and doing whatever those other famous walkthrough people do. But we're not going to do that. And uh, we're just we might shut up for a couple minutes or maybe just a minute so you can listen to the music. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and this is a Stardust River, right? But originally, when you're walk when you're swimming through water, there's gonna be a little bubble above your head, and it's gonna shrink gradually, and that's your air. I'm going to call it water, okay? That is Stardust. Water. Magical Stardust with ponies and rainbows, okay? You swim in it, and it looks like water. Whatever you say, Doc. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just going back here to save because. You know, so it's always good to save in games because, you know, the game might freeze, shut off, or you, I might die for once in this game, <laughs> which will probably never happen, unfortunately, because, you know, dying actually adds a bit of challenge. Is there any extra difficulty settings then? No. There's nothing, like, there's no new settings once you beat the game other than when you beat the game, you do get new forms. Uh, that are based around the eight canine warriors, which uh, you'll meet later on in the game. And I love these sequences here, how it kind of cleanses the land. It doesn't cleanse the whole, all of Nippon. Again, remember, that's Japan. It doesn't cleanse all of Nippon, but just the village for now. And that all happened because you cut an apple off a tree. Yes, sir. That is exactly how it happened. Just like a mouse wielding a gigantic sword with no opposable thumbs. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. 
game has a lot of unrealistic moments in it. Yeah, like this, like as soon. He wants to spend more time in Sakiya's kimono when obviously that's not going to happen, right? <laughs> you know, little pervert. <laughs> I mean, like, and you know, he's talking, but I think a lot of the time he actually is voicing what uh, Okami is talking about, or sorry, Amaterasu is is actually saying, because I'm pretty sure he can actually speak with her. It, but to us, it just looks like he's talking to himself sometimes. So is it ESP? Sort of like a connection, you know, between animal and animal and uh, sprite. And see here, this act, this part, <laughs> we're just going back and forth between parts, you know. Uh, this part right here gave me a lot of trouble because I didn't realize at first when I was first recording that I was uh, supposed to uh, talk to three people until I was supposed to go up to the top. And I just went up to the top after talking to one person. And so we had to re-record, and there was a lot of other problems. It wasn't just that, but yeah. <laughs> so now we go follow the arrow up to the top. Do we get to meet Mr. Orange? <gasps> You're giving stuff away! He's a guy with a big pimple on his head. You'll meet him in a second, okay? He, he is so weird, and, you know, when he gets drunk, the orange grows three times as big, like the Grinch's heart. This is bad. The sun's not even shining. Now this part I find like Isun was kind of a, an idiot when uh, he's talking to me. He's like, if only we could just, oh here, if only the sun would come out, you know? It's like, <laughs> if only one could draw a circle. Oh well, fancy that. What? <laughs> come to think of it, your name is Amatrasi. Anyways, yeah. And incoming, or maybe not, you know, but he'll, he'll be coming soon. This is just talking about the celestial brush techniques. His grandfather, the, the grandfather of Asun, which used to be the celestial envoy, um, he actually connects to the battle 100 years ago, the grandfather does. Uh, he made this poem called the celestial brush or something. And so now the techniques that you get from each of the gods are called the Celestial Brush Techniques. Ah, oh, here he is. Who are you? This is Mr. Orange. My favorite character in the game. Yeah, well, I don't know if he's my favorite. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. I have to think about it, but... You can see there, he's like, Oh, are you maybe the legendary Shirinui? No, it can't be. That story is 100 years old. See, this this part here, this is important right here. Notice how you are white and you're looking from Mr. Orange's view. N since everybody's lost faith in the gods, they see you as a regular wolf. They don't see the red markings or the uh, instrument that you have on your back. They just see a regular wolf. But there are certain people, like Isun, who um, can see that you have all those markings and stuff. So certain people that still believe in gods and all that junk. <laughs> no, sorry, not junk, but they, they can see you as you are. So if you're religious, you can see the god. Not really. It's not It's not like that, but it, if you believe in the gods, you can see them, if you believe enough. So it, there has to be enough people to believe in the gods. The more people that believe in the gods, the m yeah, the more powerful you are. And right here, look at this. Don't you, don't you think doing that with an old man? There. Didn't, don't you think that would like snap his neck? When I first played this game, I thought, oh, oh my god. Okami just broke that poor old man's neck. <laughs> what kind of game is this? But then, later on, you see that he is fine. Unfortunately, that would have kind of been a funny tidbit if he had actually died and you'd killed him. For no reason. And here is your first little bit of praise. And that praise you use later on, which I believe soon we'll talk about. That's a feed bag. Yep. Um, anyways, I wish I could talk more, but we are coming up to the end of the uh, video. So subscribe, befriend, do whatever you kids got to do. You know YouTube better than I do. This is Rocketfish.